Hi guys, I'm Whitney from Nitronics, and as you can see from my background, I'm finally in my new office, which I'm really excited for. And since I'm about to start my first big build in the new office, I thought this would be a good time to give you a quick little tour of the new setup. So around this time last year, I was actually featured in Elector magazine for my home lab setup in my one bedroom apartment, which that setup was great and it served its purpose very well. However, as I transitioned to permanently work from home in my day job and then the blog grew as much as it did, I was kind of starting to go crazy never leaving my apartment. However, an unforeseen silver lining of the current state of the world is that as everybody else has been moving to work from home permanently, offices here in NYC actually took an unexpected dip, which is what allowed me to afford this really cool setup way before what I ever would have thought was possible. Let's get started with looking at my benchtop setup here. I've got my basic soldering station with ESD mat and my appropriate ground hookup. So you can see I'm already using my little compartments for other random things that aren't soldering related, but these are super handy. I highly recommend getting an ESD mat with little storage compartments. This mat was actually pretty cheap, just an Amazon find. And as you can see, I've got some unboxing stuff to do here for this next big build. Um, this will also serve as my assembly station uh, where I've also got my full electronics kit drawers here that are overstocked. I can't find, I need to find another one of these, but I can't find a perfectly matching one, which is going to drive me crazy. I bought these off Wayfair about four or five years ago now. Um, but those are awesome. And then under here, I've just got some basic storage for large boxes. These boxes are really handy to keep around. External drive, extra keyboard, all that. Oh, I also came up with a new little transit system since I travel so much. These boxes with, of course, ESD bags in them. These are great for transporting FPGA dev boards without them getting crushed in my luggage. So that's a pro tip. And then over here on the shelves, I'm still migrating my textbook collection from my undergrad and graduate days. Um, half of these are still back at the apartment. But overall, these shelves are kind of a relic of cool old past projects, and then also projects that I want to remind myself to make a 2.0 of. So we've got our Hemholtz coil snow globe that I did. You can check that out on Element 14's channel. Uh, definitely want to do a 2.0 of that, so that's why that's there. And then I've got my already supplies laid out for, some of the supplies laid out for that. And then of course, you remember my Ouija board. This is still, still need to fix this slash make a 2.0 of that. And then of course we've got our test equipment shelf and then basic just, these are actually shoe uh, container drawers, but they're great for office supplies, cable storage. Um, I need to find some like anti-slip little rubber feet to go on the bottom of these. Cause that is a little bit annoying is when you're pulling these in and out, they slide pretty easy, but this is all still a work in progress. I'll probably reorganize this about 15,000 times like I do with everything else. So we'll take a look at my desktop setup here. I came up with a nice little docking type system. Uh, you'll probably recognize this uh, acrylic laptop stand from my mobile bench setup in my apartment. Uh, this serves awesome now for, I have my laptop here on the top. Uh, I, put the laptop on the top of the stand here just for optimal airflow. Uh, so it's not, I noticed in this particular one, if you put it underneath, it gets a little hot. Um, but I keep all of my FPGAs on that are on deck that I'm working with right now, um, along with uh, my power supply. This is very key. Put a power strip on the top of your desk. Uh, best advice probably out of all of this. <laughs> So as you can see, I've got my Kriya hooked up here. Since I'm doing, if, you're, if you've been following along with me on Hackster, you probably know that I've been doing a whole accelerated FPGA tutorial series. I'm also going to extend that to the Zinc Ultrascale Plus, which is why I've got my ZCU-102 out here and on deck. Um, and then my lovely Kriya SD card storage method. Um, Cause I'm terrible about flashing an SD card, throwing it in a drawer and then 
I have no idea. So using the sticky side of the sticky notes is another favorite new organizational hack. I'm sure there's some fancy little gadget I could find on Amazon for that, but sticky notes work for now. Very brief, but that's my overall new setup. I love it. It's awesome to get out of the apartment. Uh, we're just actually just a mile down the street down here in the Brooklyn Navy Yard, which is a lot of fun. This office was honestly a gem of a find. Uh, I do share this office with um, my videographer who's filming me right now, and then a couple other videographer, photographer type friends, uh, which as you can see, lots of video equipment, but it's mostly just myself and my videographer here most of the time. Another gem of being in Brooklyn over Manhattan is this office space actually has a really nice little parking spot or parking lot here that's very convenient. I'll show you a little bit of B-roll of that, of getting down here. It's actually how I carry some of my big materials when they arrive from my apartment to here um, and how I moved everything down here. Also, I cheat and if it's raining, I don't walk. <laughs> Stay tuned, uh, you're probably very curious about the Legos and all of that stuff. Uh, that's gonna be a really exciting two-part build series. Uh, I'm gonna partner with Xilinx on that one. Uh, so stay tuned for that and more to come. And if you have any suggestions for what I should fill in up here, feel free to leave those in the comments below because I'm not a great interior designer or decorator, so I could definitely use the help. But Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time. <laughs>